Hey guys, this is, uh, I thought I'd make a quick video on how I make my custom workouts through um, the Tax app because I've tried Trainer Road, I've done Zwift, and I like I like to sort of disengage and just, I, you know, I watch my shows on my TV and I just knock out a workout. So uh, this is how I make them and this is free. I've got a Tax Trainer, I've got a Tax Neo, and this is the uh, the software that I use. It's included with the, with the Tax uh equipment and i found this works quite well for me so let's go through a uh, how to make a um a workout so we go to uh, create workout and then you're going to have a choice here of ftp and power i'm going to choose ftp because if your ftp changes you can then change uh, the whole the whole workout sort of scales to your F ftp so we'll do that one and now you've got your your base bar graph. I think it's a 15 minute at 75 percent. That's no good. So I'm going to do a couple of quick, a couple of quick ramps. So you drag the the selector over. You can see the time changing down here. So we're going to say we'll do I'll, we'll do a three minute warm up. We'll get it close to three minutes and then click to three. And we'll start at uh, we'll say 50 55 percent of my FTP. And then I can um, insert a new block. It copies the last one. And I'm going to shorten it. I'm going to do 30 second uh, bits here. We're sort of going to make pyramids. So I'll do a 30 second and we'll make it 60%. And then I copy and hit paste. Then it drops it right next to it. And then we'll bump it up to 70% copy paste we'll bump it up to 80 percent and so i'm working on these pyramids 30 seconds and i i plan to the top of my pyramid is going to be 120 percent of my ftp so copy paste click it up to 90. now i'm not endorsing this workout i'm just trying to show you how to how to do this you're you know, do what I've I've done trainer road enough that I sort of have an idea of the workouts that I like. I just don't need to be paying the twenty bucks a month. So I'll we'll keep working on this for ninety. We'll do I'll show you how easy this is. Once you've got your base triangle here or your, your base pyramid and it's quite easy to repeat it. So we're gonna go to one hundred and twenty percent. There's one ten. Copy paste one 20 and then I click on this to copy my 110 uh, I click on this this bar that I want click one that's the 110 copy click the previous one I did and then hit paste and then I want to go to the 100 I hit copy go to the 110 on the on the sort of down slope here and hit paste and then you can see the you can see how this is going here copy paste and I'm going to work my way all the way down to how long. So we're our, our total running time here is uh, nine minutes so far. And this is, this is 60. That's where I'm going to do my turnaround and work my way back up again. So I'll copy that, paste it there. And so I want to do these 60 to 120s and back again. So I'm going to click the since the 60 is already here. I don't want to spend one minute at 60. I only want to spend 30 seconds and then ramp my way back up. So I'll hit my 70% bar here, and then I'll put I hit group and I click to here. And now I've got this whole section. I've got 70 all the way up to 120, and then down to uh, 60 again. So I hit copy, then paste, uh, paste. So and then I can look at down here. I'm only 20 minutes in so far. So hit paste a few more times, and we'll, we're going to work this out to about an hour or so. And this doesn't look like we're getting anywhere. You see the times changing at the bottom. But if we, if I run this runner out to the left here, you can see that I sort of have a, a washboard type thing. Uh, so how many intervals do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do um, one more. So there we're at 57. That looks like a good time, a good place to cool down. I like to save. You know, save my time. So maybe I'll I'll hit copy here, 
and uh, paste over there. There we go. We're at an hour and, th and, and one hour and 30 seconds. And uh, so we'll click save, give it a name. We'll call it 60% uh, to 120% um, pyramids. Spelt, maybe spelt correctly or not. I'm not sure. We'll hit save. And it says uploading workout. And now it took me a while to figure out exactly where. Uh, so where's the workout? Right here it is. But how do I ride it? Well, if you go to your, um, if you go to the cloud, where is that? We'll go to tax. So the issue is, yeah, we need to, where's the workout now, right? We go to, uh, I don't see is my my workouts. These are ones that I've maybe done in the past. No, we we just did an F. We just made an FTP workout, uh, but I don't. This is all sort of generic stuff. So where's my workout, right? So I've it's taken me a while to find this, but if you go to to my activities, it opens the cloud. And then you'll see your history here. And if you go to workouts. The one that we just made is right here. So today we just made this and open it. And then you get a bit more. So you know the the uh, intensity factor, the training stress score, score is an hour long, uh, just as we planned. And I'll hit the heart to, to like it. And I'll close it now and I'll go back to the tax, my dashboard. And it should be now underneath my um, my favorite workouts. We'll give it a minute here. Oh, there it is right there. Was it there initially? Anyway, there's my our 60 to 120% pyramids. Click on that and you can select to ride it. Start training. There you go. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, yeah, you, you know, start riding. That's it. So you build your own workout and uh, it's it's simple, it's easy. You play around with it. You can um, you can change the uh, the intensity of it. Uh, maybe I have to be routing to do this, but you can go. Yeah, you can go up and down here, and it scales it down if you're not feeling it that day. And they seem to have taken away. Ignore this pause screen, but you're, we're looking down at the bottom here. Uh, you can't go above 100, which is a bit of a bummer. And I wish that seemed to be functionality that they had and they've taken it away. So I try and make my workouts a bit harder than um, than they maybe need to be. And then you can dial it down uh, from there. So I hope you found this useful. Good luck out there. Save your money and, and give this uh, tax app a try. It's been working well for me. And, and you, of course, you can link your Strava to it and all that. So you can share your rides uh, with your buddies. All right. All the best to you.